Hey guys, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center and I got some, some really cool stuff to show you today, okay? Um, I know this is a very technical video and uh, all you uh, biomechanics experts out there, you know, don't, don't worry about the terms. I'm going to use layman's terms today so everybody can understand this, but it's really important to bridge the gap and we're talking about wrists right now because Many are under the impression that the left wrist should be flat at the top of the backswing, all right? Meaning that the back of the hand, the wrist, and the forearm are linear because at the moment of impact, that's where, what everybody sees. With the advent of the video era, we've noticed impact positions, right? Or positions throughout the swing. And then how we started teaching the game of golf is we had everybody try to get physically into these positions in a static manner instead of a dynamic manner, okay? So when I take my position at a dress, I want everything hanging from the shoulders, right? And we, we're trying to, uh, to have a position where the wrists are easily going to be able to hinge. In the grip to wrist hinge video, that is bang on, by the way. And I know a lot of you have commented to the fact that you see a lot of pros at the top of the swing having flat left wrists. And because we've seen this impact position of a flat wrist, left wrist, we think that at the top of the swing, it should be in that flat position as well. This is a manipulated position, and it's actually more of, it's, it's a, weak, a weaker position to be in. But we're talking about the top athletes in the world here, and they can manage a golf swing around, you know, minute positions like this. And as you can, you know, Tiger Woods has that flat left wrist. Hogan had a little cupped left wrist at the top. Many people thought that was his secret, and I'm here to debunk that. So we're going to go from a hinged wrist position at the top of the swing, and we're going to see how naturally it happens that these wrists get into this position at impact with the shaft leaning forward, the left wrist flat, and the right wrist in that cupped position. So it happens through centrifugal force, when centrifugal force is pulling on the club and I'm coming down, as my right arm starts to extend, it starts to square up. The right palm starts to rotate back toward the ball. But the thing is, is there's still lag going on in this club head. So as everything's starting to square up, the lag will have a tendency to bow my left wrist and cup my right wrist and put me in this very powerful position where I can compress through the back of that golf ball. That's the position you will typically see Tiger Woods in at the moment of impact. And even in a recent article, Tiger says he's trying to take the back of his hand and compress the back of his hand towards his target for his ball striking. And that works really well for somebody who's very strong in the wrists and, and has good dexterity. But the, the average person that I'm dealing with on a daily basis, and you know, average golfers like you and me, we're looking for a more efficient motion. And the efficiency of the wrists, let me describe, I'll give you a couple of analogies here. If I have a huge fishing pole and I wanna cast my lure toward the ocean, so I want both wrists to hinge, and all of you know, most of you know how to cast a fishing pole, it's a, it's a hinge that resembles very much like a football throw, all right? So if I'm throwing a football, it's a little different than throwing a baseball, although baseball players are starting to do it a little bit closer to what a football player does because it's more anatomically correct. So as I'm coming through, the elbow leads my hand, the hand leads my fingers, and the motion is very much released on the snuff boxes, all right? So it's the same thing with the golf club. As I'm coming in, it's very much like throwing a football under hands. If you want a good practice drill, you, you know, get a wall. Actually, there's a special football on the market that has a, um, a square edge here that you can throw against the wall and catch it back. And you can practice your golf release throwing this football this way. So it's very much the same motion. Elbow leads my hand, hand leads my fingers, and the release is through here. And as we've recently discovered, 
Now, like at the Richmond Hill Country Club, which is the same ownership here, we have an awesome tennis teacher. His name is, is Richard Hernandez. And um, he showed me the full, you know, the full serve, technically how it works. And it is exactly like the release of a golf swing, okay? Go to Pete Sampras, Pro Nation Serve on uh, YouTube, search that. And there's a beautiful picture of Pete Sampras, and you'll see him as he's coming in. The elbow leads the hand, and what happens is it looks like he's splitting the air with the racket, and at the last moment, pronates. And you get this huge burst of speed here, and then after, it, re it releases this way. Okay, exactly like the release of the golf swing. So here I am, I'm coming down, see how the club is like the same position as the tennis racket, and as the club comes in, everything pronates and then releases down the line. So look at the club face now. The club face is releasing on plane on the other side here. You see how my right hand has released over, and that will cause the left hand to release under. So you notice, and this goes to show that everything you see in my DVD, everything you see in my videos is very much along these lines. It's not something you need to think about, but it, it should help put more clarity into what we're trying to do here as far as teaching golf, okay? Most of you who try to keep that left wrist flat at the top will not have enough wrist hinge. Therefore, if you're not hinging the wrists enough, it's like casting a fishing pole like this. There's gonna be a lot of shoving action going on in your swing and you won't get that effortless, powerful whip that we're looking for, okay? So we're looking for full hinge and full release through that target, okay? And I guarantee you, at impact, this is what it looked like. I know my swing. So I hope that helped debunk a few things. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I know that we'll have a lot of fun with the comments on this one. See you later.